Okay, so now as you can see, I've cut that piece of plywood there just to fit. And I've also put some insulation in here so that uh, it's probably not necessary, but the uh, there's because there's a pretty good air gap there anyway. But that's the insulation I took out of this wall. So rather than let it go to waste, uh, I can use it here to insulate the floor. So that's what I'll do. So next step is to coat uh, along each of these two by fours with some liquid nails across the top there too and then put that plywood down and then screw it down so that it's held with screws and the liquid glue. I was going to put two tanks in here, but I decided to only put one. And what you've got here, this is it. And this is six and a half feet by five feet by five feet. And I'm going to insulate that. As you can see, it kind of looks like studs on a house. But we're going to insulate this tank quite well. And I'm going to put the water inlet about this level, or outlet actually, about this level. And this tank holds about 1,300 gallons. And if you remember what I originally thought was I'd get two 500 gallon tanks in there like these and uh, you know that would work. I'd have 2,000 gallon tanks as I calculated the 2,000 is what I needed. Now I, I, I had second thoughts about it you know that's what happens when you go through your design but well let's let's build one tank that's got a thousand gallons and let's use this area over here to put the things, the hardware in here, like I've got to have some water heaters and I'm going to have an emergency generator that I needed a place to put it. So that's what I'm going to put in here. Anyway, the concrete has been poured. As you can see, there's the floor. Did that all by hand in that, uh, my, mi my concrete mixer right there. And it, <laughs> it takes a while, but it worked. Now, what I've got here is, like I say, it's uh, a box and these are styrofoam liners and what I'm going to do is put those on the bottom and I'm going to put them on the sides for cushion for the pond liner that I'm going to put in there as well as a little bit of insulation. So there's the status. There's only one more thing. See this uh, wall right here? This wall is the last thing that goes on there and uh, then we'll have that tank done and like I say it holds about 1100, 1200 gallons, something like that. So we'll have plenty of water. Anyway, there's the update so far, and uh, it's coming right along. Now, if you notice, I've got the wall, this last wall on this uh, tank. If you've seen the previous video, you probably saw that that wasn't there. So the tank basically is finished, and what I need to do is put a liner on the inside of it. So we'll wait until uh, I get the liner to do that. But I wanted to show you the finished tank. Let me get the camera here so I can show you a little bit closer. Okay, so if you remember how this was, there's the bottom here. That was the frame that I showed you how the, the bottom frame that we had some good close-ups on. And I, I really didn't photograph or film assembling this tank very much. 
But as you can see, these walls right here were built separately and then laid right on top of that bottom foundation that I built. See on the other side here, the same thing right there as it runs down there. That's the bottom uh, footing or foundation if you want. And then what I've done, and I can show you here a little bit better, is you see I've put, in, I've put insulation on the outside here because this tank will be hot water. And then outside the, uh, the uh, insulation I've put this, uh, this uh, silver or this metallic reflector type material and stapled it to the walls so that it'll stay. Now, that should insulate the tank quite well. I've done that all the way around. I've still got to do it on this one because I just got this wall up yesterday. So we're not quite done there yet. Now, I want to show you the inside of this tank. Hang on while I drag the ladder over here. Okay, now, these 2x4s are in here just to kind of make sure that none of this insulation collapses. Now, what I've got here is one inch uh, uh, a styrofoam, I guess uh, it's called. The one inch layer here is actually for the, what, the liner that's going to go in here. Uh, that's for cushioning because it's going to be pretty heavy at the bottom. And uh, so this is going to help cushion it, make sure there's no holes or anything or imperfections in the wood that might, you know, chafe it out a little bit and cause it to uh, come apart later. Now, I may not uh, put any styrofoam here on the top, mainly because it's only the water is actually only going to come about halfway up, maybe a little bit further than that, and there's not much hydraulic pressure up there, so I may not worry about it. And actually, uh, to make the connections, I'm going to have to drill holes in the wall here and uh, put some connections, uh, compression-type connections, and the uh, styrofoam isn't isn't going to help that, so that's going to make it more difficult. So if I leave the styrofoam off, it's probably going to be a good idea for the connections. But as you can see, uh, it's quite a large tank, and I calculated this is going to hold about 1,100 gallons, and uh, that should be plenty for what what I wanted to do. So what we're going to have is a tank over there, and the equipment is going to be installed right here. And I think this is going to work out pretty good. Anyway, next update, we'll probably be putting that liner in there. And I have ordered the siding that we are going to have on this, so that's going to be put on there pretty soon. But it's coming along uh, quite satisfactorily, and uh, this is going to get done, I think. So, see you next time.